Hey guys, it's me Daniel. Today I'm gonna to teach you an easy way on how to play C and D and E. So, with C, as you know, like this. If you can't stretch out your finger, that's okay. Because at the beginning, I couldn't do that either. Go like, so from here, you can just go like this. Take index finger off, or you can just go like this. So are you, you thinking, or have I used this before? So pause the video and try to find out. You found out that was quick. So, well, I use it in the How Great Is Our God video, like this. Or. So, and then the next one is a D. Over here, it's on the chord chart. Oh, I'm not sure if you guys can see it from here, but this is a very easy one. And it's right over here. But you probably can't see it from here. So normal D is like this, right? You can just simply put your finger like this. Or some people just say go like this. Or honestly, it's up to you and your preference. So it doesn't really matter which one you do, but I just like this. It's just a little lighter. So if you guys like this video, oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot to teach you the E. So the E right over here. So like this. Well, you can kind of go like this. So there's many ways to differ it, but as you know, this is normal E. E minor. Uh, there's an. This is another easy way. Just go like this. Where does? If you're wondering, what does that look similar to? What does that look similar to? Well, I'm not sure if you guys can see from here again. It's it's D minor seven. So from this, then just take this away. This is not in the same. This is D minor seven. As you can see over here, same fingering. Yeah, well, it's kind of close. I'm sorry, it's like this. One string apart, but instead we're going to have to bring it here and to have two strings apart. Well, oh, okay, well, it doesn't really matter which ones you have it on, but I just recommend to have it like this. Or you, if you feel comfortable, just do it like this. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and ring that bell below. Bye.